Hello from the river. Today we are fishing from the bank and I tell you what, I'm just trying to come out here, throw the Ned rig around and catch some fish. I want to start with the hop and bounce retrieve and see if they will eat it. So rather than sit here and yip and yap, let's uh, start casting and blast and see what we can do. There we go, there we go. Putting up a good fight. That hop and bounce retrieve, my friends. It's the hop and bounce retrieve, gotta love it. Wasn't expecting a large mouth. Whew. Look at that, look at the black spots on him. The old hop and bounce retrieve paid off. TRD hogs in the yoga pants color, he seemed to like it. I did this little guy a favor, somebody left a hook in him and uh, I got it out without hurting him. So, old buddy can go home now. Boom, we're on the board, folks. That's right, I caught a largemouth. I was expecting smallmouth, I'm not gonna lie to you, but I'll take it. I'm not gonna complain about a largemouth any day. No way, no way. The reason that I thought this would actually be a valuable video is because recently, a lot of you watched my Ned Rig Retrieve video on the Dragon Dead Stick, and I thought it could actually be valuable to do one on some of the other retrieves. And essentially, the Hop and Bounce Retrieve is a pretty easy one to execute. All you gotta do is this. Cast it out there, and then as it's sinking, if you want, you can shake it. The next step that you're gonna do is actually just hop it by either a reel turn or a quick twitch of the rod. I like to do one short little reel turn. And then if you want, you can shake it. It's always optional to shake. But essentially, you just let it glide down, sit on the bottom and basically dead stick, and then you reel it, and that will cause it to hop like a little crayfish down there. I'm using the TRD hogs today. Um, really looks like a little insect, maybe like a helgramit, potentially a small crayfish. Um, and the fish just go nuts for it, I tell you what. Oh, one just bumped it. The reason I chose the river to show you this retrieve is because I particularly really like this retrieve for the river because a lot of times there's a lot of crayfish down on the rocks and uh, this just really does a great job of mimicking crayfish scooting across the bottom of the water. You can always customize your net rig retrieve. There's really no wrong way to fish it. Folks, I tell you what, I'm really digging this whole TRD hogs thing. I actually never used them until this year, but I love this thing. In the yoga pants color, I really, really like it. I think it's gonna be a money, money, money river fishing bait. And it's already worked so far. That largemouth loved it. I'm hoping to find a smallie. We gotta find a smallie, people. There he is. Oh man, hammered it. Another largemouth. Wow. Wow, 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 whoa. Oh, he just spit it. That's what happens when you stand on top of a rock and you can't get down to them quick enough. I think a rock bass just pegged it. I think there was a fish playing with it, but I think it might, oh, there it is, got him. I knew there was one playing with it. There's a smallie. That's what we wanted. That's what we're after, my friends. Yes. Yeah, I'd say you ate that pretty good. What do you think? Not a massive fish by any means, but it's a great way to show you the hop and bounce retrieve. I will take this fish any day of the week. These smallmouth are so crazy, no matter what their size. I love it. Fellas, 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 there's a lot of fish in this area, but I've really had to grind for them. Just gotta work it really slow, and this hop and bounce retrieve is kicking butt. I tell you what, I'm enjoying this. I'm really liking these TRD hogs. I think they just look so now. Oh, what, what, oh, what happened? What happened, how did he get off? I don't think he actually was ever hooked. I think he was just holding on. What was that fish, dadgummit? Oh wow, I landed it in excellent position. Oh no, I said it was excellent. No, Ethan, no. No, I broke it, son of a gun. Well, I'm kind of sad because I just broke off my beautiful TRD hogs and now I have no leader. I might try tying on one more bait. I've got a TRD Cross up in my car. I'm gonna try tying it on straight braid and see what happens. Green pumpkin TRD Cross. And I'm actually using a little bit heavier jig head. I think this is the 110 ounce. So I'm not sure how that's gonna affect everything, um, but it'll be okay, I think. What happened there? One bit it, and then he got me snagged. Literally the very next cast. One hit it, I felt the bite. It was a very distinct bite. No, 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 no! Mm. Ow, that stinks. Well, good thing I didn't cut myself. 
Goodness gracious. I literally made one cast with the TRD Cross before breaking it off. You know what? Breaking off two consecutive Ned Rigs on two consecutive casts is very disappointing. But I tell you what, I'm not disappointed in the fact that I caught fish today. You know what? I'm going to bed here soon and it's going to be amazing being able to think about the beautiful fish which I just caught. Otherwise, if you want to see the drag and dead stick technique, another great technique for Ned Rigs, click that video right there and I promise you this, you're going to get a lot of value from that video. We'll see you over there.